I'm in disbelief that my baby is not here with me today. I love you, my boy. Heartbreaking words from Barbara Kidichai, who lost her grandson, Dion, just last week. The 19-year-old died a few days following a serious crash on Route 4 in Orak. I'd like to hug him again. I'd like to, you know, just tell him I miss him and I love him. His mother, Charmaine Cruz, recalls the day of the crash. He's 19. And you see that picture? That's the picture he took. That, that's right before he left. That's the picture he took at DJ's house. They were in Talafofo. They were working on vehicles. They were working on, they were working on cars. And that was his day off from work. So he went up there and he was working with DJ. He was going to come home because he had a baseball game in Tucson. He was going to come here and he was going to get his glove. And he was going to get ready and go to his baseball game. He was just coming here. On his way to the family's home in Sinahanya, Charmaine instead getting an unexpected call from her son. Dion calls me and then he tells me, Mom, you know, I've been in an accident and I lucky I was here. And he tells me, Mom, I, I've been in an accident. I don't know if I thought he was joking because he likes to joke. He's the one that made the call. He called me. He said, Mom, I've been in an accident. And I said, Dion, Dion, are you joking or you know what? And then he said, um, I said, are you hurt? And then right when he told me he cannot feel his legs, I already knew it was serious. And then I went, I left. She rushed to the crash site. I saw the other car. I saw the ambulance, saw the tow trucks. And then I saw my son still in that truck. On um, When he hit that concrete, he's still in that truck because he couldn't get out, because he couldn't move. The next few days would be tough for Dion and his family. He suffered from broken femur. His mother saying at least two days had passed before he was taken in for surgery. But Charmaine, unaware, that would be her boy's final moments. I was just telling him that he was just going to be okay and I'm so excited and I cannot wait. And then he gave me a high five. He gave me a high five and he told me not to worry. The family, now grieving, is remembering the sweet, loving man that would always keep the crowd around him laughing. And mom's biggest memory? It's really, it's the relationship that I had with him. Because, you know, like, like everyone will say, oh, you guys are like brothers and sisters. You know, because we just had that relationship.